Hello everyone, welcome! So this video is a bit different and we're going to do a build for Rogue. This is the buff Rogue or the Thug. So we have the Grinch for here and what does this Rogue do differently? Well, we're going to use Strength to attack. So yeah, this will be, this will be the infamous Strength Rogue. Why do we want to be a Strength Rogue? That's your first, first question, right? Well, Strength is better than Dexterity in Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, why? Well, because First, you have jump, but bonus action, you can move farther away from the jump, and your jump is increased by strength. Secondly, you, as a bonus action, you can shove people, and the stronger you are, easier it is to shove, and the farther you can shove them, and shove sometimes will win you, outright win you battles. So, we want to focus on that. Apart from that, you can sneak attack using uh, strength. You just have to use weapons with, fit, though, with the finesse property. So we could, with strength 16th and dexterity 14th, we could grab a rapier and hit with strength and still sneak attack if you want to. I chose to be a gift Yankee. That's because the gift Yankee has a property. We can use medium armor, so that would solve the problem of Rogue's armor class. With maintaining a dexterity of 14th, we can use medium armor and have a very good armor class. Also, you can use the Great Sword. Now, you're going to ask, hey, can you sneak attack using a Great Sword? No, you can't. You cannot do that. But think about level 1. Level 1 with a rapier. You do 1d8 plus your dexterity plus. 1d6 sneak attack as the damage. And of course, if you have a bonus extra available, you could um you can't do a wield for happy. So let's say short sword. That's 1d6 plus dexterity plus 1d6 sneak for your main hand attack. And if you use your bonus extra hit with the off hand attack, it's another 1d6 damage. With a, with a great sword, your damage will be 2d6 plus your strength. So it's the same as your main hand with a sneak attack. Difference is you have your bonus action free. So yes, you're not attacking again for another 1d6 damage, but you can shove someone or you can jump or you use your cunning action as a rogue. These will change on level 3 when you get like 2d6 um, damage of sneak attack. So yes, your sneak attack damage will be higher. And that's alright because it's still Sometimes you can't sneak attack, sometimes you want to show with people. So it's a, it's a choice that you have to make. The biggest question is level 4, what feat do we take? Because you, we could go to Great Weapon Master and then uh, have extra hit with a bonus action. If you, if you do that, with one Great Weapon Master, extra hit. It's 4d6 damage. And a sneak attack of level 4 will be 2d6 plus your main attack, 3d6 damage. So so with one hit from weapon ma a great weapon master, we are doing as much damage as a sneak attack of main and bonus action. So yeah, and I think level 8, uh, when you would get another feat, you'll be able to swap your feat. I'm pretty certain Baldur's Gate will do that, because yeah, as the game goes on, our damage will fall off and sneak attack will be better uh, every time. But still, if you can swap feats later on, that's good. Right, because we could get Great Weapon Master on the 4th and then swap it on the 8th. But yeah, but let's see. Let's see how this rogue does. I'm going to showcase you guys some, some rogue using Great Weapon Master. How the Thief extra bonus actually interact with this. The damage we can do. And yeah, let's do the buff rogue. Also, another thing I forgot. As a rogue, you can have expertise on something. So, with expertise on athletics and strength, we're going to push everyone. And this build will be even stronger when we get multi-class, because then we can do three levels rogue to get thief, expertise, expertise, and then full-on barbarian, for example. That would be a great build. But yeah, so let's do it. So, as the buff rogue, if you're, if you're using a two-handed great sword, yeah, you can attack once. And now we can't use your bonus to offhand the weapon strike because I don't have one. And I can't use the Great Bow Master attack because I didn't kill the creature. But I'm still a thief. 
And I still have two free bonus actions that I can use to show people. And you know what? The buff rogue, rogue with strength and expertise is better showing the most classes. And the exception would be a barbarian in rage here. But imagine where we can multi-class and be the barbarian in rage buff rogue. That's great. Shove is amazing. See? With the shove, I killed that. And I have... Okay, I took, a, I took an attack because I was dumb. But I have another bonus action. I can shove another creature. This one is weaker, I don't know why, 90% chance. But it didn't fly, but you understand the drill. Once our buff rogue reaches the level 4, we get to choose a feat. We could either increase our strength by 2, going for 18 strength now, or we could get, for example, the Great Weapon Master feat. And then you ask, well, why would you get that? That's because that's nice. Whenever you kill someone or land a critical re-hit, you can, as a bonus action, make another melee weapon attack. If you're if you're using a great sword, that's for the six damage on a turn. Some you can hit. While your sneak attack now is plus two d six, so a sneak attack with a short sword will be three d six damage here, and then you could attack once more with the bonus action for four d six damage. Being a thief, you have another attack for bonus actions if you're using two weapons, of course. And then that will be 5d6. But here, if you can attack three times with your Great Weapon Master, that's 6d6 plus the bonus. And don't forget, the attack with the bonus action of the Great Weapon Master also adds your strength bonus. So that would be 4d6 plus 6 against 5d6 plus 3. Yeah, so yeah, so that's actually better. So it is a. But that falls really fast. Once you're level 5. That fell already. And then we don't know if they will allow us to swap feats on the la on level 8. I'm guessing if you're not a gift, that's the moment you take medium. Uh, that's the feat here. You actually can get as a gift because if you only gets the, the ability to use medium, medium armor but not shield. So if you're not gift, you could get these now. And now you have a, a good AC. If you are a gift, you could try this out for the fun. And pray they will let you swap a feat on level 8. Or you could just add, add plus 2 to a strength. Hmm. They are, they're all valid. All valid. Now, as a conclusion, what do I think about the buff rogue? I actually think it's viable. Strength is better than dexterity in Baldur's Gate 3. We can jump farther away. We can um, use weapons with strength and just sneak attack the same way. Because it just have to be a finesse weapon. We can show people really good with our expertise, being the best class in doing that, apart from barbarians in rage, but barbarians need to be in rage to be better than us. Maybe we could skip the great weapon master feat on level 4 and just get um, plus 2 strength. I think that would be better, especially because you can't proc twice the, the bonus act for the great weapon master. That would be incredible if you could, but we can't. Being a thief, I'm saying, because you can be a buff rogue and be an arcane trickster, and be, be as happy, I guess. So you, you have one last bonus action, so and not as good because I really like our bonus action here. Uh, it a bonus action to buff rogue brings a lot, and you know, shoving people. Think about as many opportunities you had to shove people. The buff rogue will be constantly the better on that because barbarian have so many rage per day. So I really think it's good, and I think it works, okay? So I would recommend a Giffy Yank, so you can have a medium armor. But if you don't want to make a Giffy Yank, on the level 4 feet, get medium uh, armor uh, feet. So now you can wear a medium armor. Yeah, pretty good, pretty nice, different. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and please, if you like, leave a like. And subscribe, subscribe to the channel. See ya.